Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet?! Calm yourself, alright? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor.
It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. The worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together... I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe... I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. <laughs> You're my best friend. Max... Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. It's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. 
I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? <coughs> Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? There's the old Chloe. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair.
Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Snow globes are taking over. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. I'm glad I took this photo. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man, she has to use that ventilator just to breathe. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech 
must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. <coughs> Here's the DVD. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Now we have a movie night. I can't believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. 
I definitely have to take a third job. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV, and they use her shitty tube television. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Being around you and Joyce again is... so... nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I was reading about that missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But... That's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe 
if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. I'm not gonna say fucking... No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Choices of food coupon boss. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. The bathroom looks almost the same, just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. How's it going, Time Tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. I guess we stopped growing up together. But at least we never had to hide from step douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I 
feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Oh, no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Joyce is already a super mom. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, oh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the Two Whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. 
Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family, and we'll always be one, no matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. Swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. Oh, Chloe. The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. these dead birds. It's happening here too. I'm glad Chloe gets a room with a view. Give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund even if it wasn't another reality.
Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. So Chloe has her own photo album. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go, and don't come back. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. I'm sorry, William.
Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I... I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong, even if you feel like I wasn't there for you, because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back, always. Max, you get one kiss and now you're all over me? I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. that I thought I'd be And in my mind when I'm old 
Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. I still feel sketchy about giving Chloe the gun back. That snow doe always makes me think of William and Chloe. I should have known just erasing that phone message wouldn't stop the police. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. Yes, Chloe Price was here. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. That's my Chloe. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat step douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the darkroom. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate... Oh no. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. Thank you.
Oh, that blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. Fly, be free. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. This might be the last poster advertising Arcadia Bay after tomorrow night. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David! I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just... better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Ouch. Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. I think this all started with my vision of a tornado. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? William never finished painting that wall. Poor birds. I guess David wasn't in the mood to clean up. Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Should I have signed the petition? 
Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. At least he has one weird fan. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts too. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? I wonder if David is going to the party. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey David, whatcha hiding? Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me, just one picture please. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay Wildlife series. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy wags. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Score. Back to Chloe now.
Oh, maps, no score. Back to Chloe now. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. That is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Oh. <laughs> 
I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh... Not nice. But I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but... I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. You know he likes you. And I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. With everything that's going on, it, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. And thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us.
Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird being suspended and just walking around campus. Well, you are an adult now. This isn't prison, is it? Not until we get orange jumpsuits. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party, so I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Let's grind, bitches! Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Try going to Blackwell. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Not like I don't own all the original eight souls. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Mrs. Grant so looks interested in whatever Samuel's saying. Climate change isn't real my ass. <gasps> That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. Scientist. I'm fascinated. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. I 
I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding, not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. What about wormholes and chaos theory? Like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I don't think surveillance would have helped, Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing, and now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. You're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly friends. No way. I just have to, uh, ask him a question. I saw him leaving campus looking angrier than usual. But to be honest, Max, Nathan hasn't been too well lately. You might know more about that than me. Too much. I can tell. You look like you have more than a question on your mind. Maybe asking Nathan isn't such a good idea right now. You hear me, Max? I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not that. around. I'm very worried. I should go back to Chloe. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And Max, I don't like it at all. 
I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting too. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? I try not to. Whoa, you really don't like Nathan. How come? Samuel likes everybody, until they give him a reason not to. He did. Well, okay, enough said. You know a lot of Blackwell secrets, so I thought you could help me. Max, I I'm a custodian, not a psychic. I can only help by warning you to be careful. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. No, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate. Then it doesn't matter. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. Do you think this is some kind of eco-disaster, or...? I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. Get that food in your belly. How 
would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Thanks again for helping me fight the power. Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. <laughs> Evan rolls. Kate brings it. So room 111 is the magic number. They have one more meeting left. Apparently Logan missed this poster. Oh, why, hello Trevor and Dana. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Zack or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Ugh, skunk weed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. This just makes me think of Kate. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Oh, you Bigfoots. This can only be Nathan's room.
Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. Nathan clearly has his fetish down. That is so Chloe. Oh my God. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. Welcome to the boys' dorm. These films all have a dark pattern. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. He has everything in here except peace of mind. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff.
What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Uh, Get off me, bro! Uh, oh. uh. Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh, oh my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you! You're all dead! Let's go, now! Plus, my dad is on his way! You're all fucked! He owns you! Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better. Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out... Anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. 
I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. The forest seemed quiet, no sign of life or deer. Nope, I don't want to go there. There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. This is where my nightmare started. Those beached whales look so awful, but still so majestic. No worries, sign. I may not know quantum speak, but there has to be an explanation. It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Behold, Frank's beer garden. Take the trash out sometime, dude. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. Ah, oh, poor little beach ball. Fresh meat. So Pompadou must be okay. Good doggy. Chloe looks ready to rumble. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. 
Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Oh, Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's how we got out. You did it, are you crazy? That's my dog! Wait, that's not what- Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here! And I'll spin you on your ass! What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! Step the fuck back now! Poverty! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! Oh no! Chloe... I just shot a man... and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know, but we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. And only I can change it.
Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. <sighs> Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. You won't like this, but you need to get rid of that gun. No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind fast. I... I don't have the... Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Listen, Frank. Yeah, yeah, everything's important. There's no time for that. Yeah, yeah, well... Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah? Frank, we didn't come here to fight. Oh, yeah, you didn't... I... Finally, I... I... I tried... Dude, she... We're cool for now. We're only here to talk. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like... Chloe and I gave your doggy a bone when we... So you're the ones who let him out? You broke in here and let my dog out? What the fuck? Wait! Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! How do you like my blade, kid? Huh? Whoa! Chloe! Get off of me! Motherfucker! <laughs> You won't like... No. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the name... Oh, he's... There's no... Yeah, yeah. Come on, Frank. Oh, yeah, you... I... I... Do... Only... Shit. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like... like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes. We're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse?
Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Cool, Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Chloe's on a roll to find more clues about Rachel now that we're so close. We've printed everything we need. Now it's time to focus on the big board. Hey Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. From Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Tulips and vegetables. 
Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. I bet I could suss out some major clues in Frank's account book. If I could decipher the damn code names. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Does David know what's going on with Rachel or is he just paranoid about everybody? You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. working. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Looks like this isn't the right combination. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. <sighs> what could help me unlock this phone? Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Holy shit, Nathan is seriously unhinged, but those numbers might be useful. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Max, there's no logical link between those clues. Better look for any clues or numbers that could be his pen code. There's a lot of numbers in here. All oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their- This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. <sighs> Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Hmm. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max.
Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Yep, another car David was tracking. Hmm. Who else was David tracking here? Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. Maybe I should have let Warren beat Nathan's ass down. Just this once. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? That's definitely Chloe's car. Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. Oh, no. This is not working. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcom, come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with the coordinates. This is like goddamn math. I suck. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe. Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Let's start hacking. Bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass.
You locked it, dumbass. You locked it, dumbass. You locked it, dumbass. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Chloe's on a roll to find more clues about Rachel. Yes. Not hey Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. Let's start hacking. You locked it, dumbass. You locked it, dumbass. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Bad code. <sighs> yeah. 
yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be. Oops. Bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be. Bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be. Oops. Bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Oops. Bad code.
<sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Oops, bad code. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. You locked it, dumbass. Bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Oops, bad code. <sighs> yeah. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Oops, bad code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be.
yeah. Let's find out what Nathan Prescott has been trying to hide. Yes, uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan, you're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out, asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. So, this infamous party was the fourth. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. Not much out there. Oh, fail, abort, wrong clues. If I can match one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the exact location. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clues here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But 
Remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. Chloe is so damn fearless. Where does that come from? Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. This tractor has paid its dues. Damn, lots of info here. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie.
Ah, the good old days. So many haystacks, so few needles. So many haystacks, so few needles. <sighs> Nothing here. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. Pretty sure this old pitchfork won't open a padlock. Try again, Max. Damn, lots of info here. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Up, up and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Do not fall. Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. Here's the other end of the rope. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Use your rewind and get that motor back up there.
So that didn't work at all. Ugh. So that didn't work at all. strikes again. to see how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. This bunker is so surreal. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. Oh yes! I thought that only worked in the movies. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Now what the hell is this? Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. More survivalist supplies. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. 
Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god. Rachel. Kate. All of This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel is passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Somebody hikes their whiskey. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. Needles. Gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. So who's using this fancy tripod? I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System.
I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Impossible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking... Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so... I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon.
find Nathan and take him down. Justin. Is she mad Warren asked me out? Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the vortex. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out with him. Oh, no. I, I am sorry Warren asked me to the movies, but you don't need to give me an attitude. I'd like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. You're not selfish, bro. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. School days. Luke, I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not going to do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic headbutt. Yes, give it up for brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. That'll be hard to do when the Prescotts own the town and the Vortex Club. I call it the Vortex Cult. Look at this crap. Dress code? VIP section? Elitist bullshit. Preach it, brother Lou. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. But for helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. No one seems to know what Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Bigfoot on otter action. to shake that booty. I'm surprised to see you here. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. The wit of the Vortex Club.
so not impressed by this VIP crap. Yes, you do suck. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only, okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list, okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Not anymore. If I get sick now, I can drink more later. I'm not in the mood, but still, this could be an interesting shot. I'm never leaving this toilet. Justin's just a little buzzed. Yo, maximum overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame rave. Want to get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. She's not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore tex club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max. I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense, and your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin, and I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus! You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. The tide is turning. Hello? Can you Chloe must be around. Yes! You've been vomiting for like an hour! Good night, sweet prince. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. How did this even get here? Hmm, 
I could push this out of the way and officially crash the VIP section. Is the Vortex Club. So his ass ha- Has to be here tonight. Oh, that makes me want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. It's all this shit. I feel selfish going to a party after this week. Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on a loop. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull in a revenge bar or something. You dance worse than my dad. I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. Okay, now that's hot. I'm glad Dana ended up with Trevor. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich and rich. And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. But we'll see. Here's a clean so Yeah, that would be. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry, I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, in Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you and me. Everybody here! That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. More than stupid, it's me. Hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop me from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. I believe you, Victoria. But I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what, I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. You have
have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either. That's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choice. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were abaddon -esque. Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the Vortex Club. I actually hope so, Victoria. Why do you say it like that? Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her something so dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people I've locked with. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. I will walk. I throw down notes. Hold out with hope and keep by until I'm flat broke. Escaping the fears just like the man's wish. Shed tears inside, I'm still the same kid. Represent on my two feet, I stand on hell bent. Thought to never lose, but the plan's wrong. You're in the middle. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria. I'm glad I warned her. No, Logan, you're not getting any action tonight. Or even a dance. Logan, can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that food. Uh, no. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? Business. You should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen Nathan. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Don't you ever want to see you, Max? You're so cute, and we never really talk. Talk about what? The next Bigfoots game. We could go out to the field. I could show you some moves. Give you a touchdown. Logan, don't make me hurt. Damn, that was way more exciting than dance. Catch you later, Max. So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their underage bar. Again. Chips and crackers. 
There are no expense vortex club. She's wasted and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns it. That son of a bitch is not here. Where are you, Nathan? I better get Chloe. A bomb. Give me a break. Surprise, Hayden was trashed. He would dose his own drink first before anybody else's. What's up, Hayden? Oh, look. Up in the sky, it's Super Max here to save the party. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? You wanna hit? No thanks. Come on. I would kill to see you baked. Like that stick out of your ass. You need to get high more than anybody I know. Next to me. Not this week. So, has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or, you can sit down and take the quick day. Hayden. Does Sean Prescott pay for the Vortex Club parties? What doesn't he pay for? Prescott's shit money. How else could we afford DJ Doomsday to spend? The Prescott family is literally making you dance. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Taylor really shows her Vortex Club spirit. Max, look at you go, girl. Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting, like, too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. How has Nathan been scary? I've always thought he was a creeper. Fun, but you can tell he doesn't give a shit about anybody. Is this why you want to be in a Vortex Club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan, so you should avoid any drink here tonight. But trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. An oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. Oh good, Chloe's here. Well, she obviously didn't find Nathan. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Vince. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> are you both okay? You look like you're on a... Uh, mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but... I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay. everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. But I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph. 
and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy, and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Nathan, if you're not going to be cool. God, I want to fucking kill that little psycho. Hey, I can't focus if you're yelling. Please, Max, please hurry. Oh God, Max, look. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no. Chloe, look out. What the fuck? 